Hello everybody, time again to tie a fly and uh, today I intend to do uh, uh, the Green Highlander. It was quite a while since I did one so uh, I'm gonna do one for one of the subscribers uh, of uh, this channel. So let's begin. First step, silver tinsel. I go with a flat one. So I'm tying that one in. Let me see, the thread is moving. I want to be somewhere there. Just removing this one. Tight wrap backwards. And then forward again. And there are tight in. Yeah, securing a few wraps extra. There I go. Now get rid of the thread. Just building a small foundation with the thread so where the tail gets in place it's gonna look good so I'm just gonna max the thread there the hook is sharp So here we are, have the tail. Let's get it. have a look. Nothing there. Thought I got an email, but that wasn't the case. So that's good. There we are, tail on. Just securing that with a few more wraps with the thread. Nothing fancy. So, battered wood duck. I was thinking of doing something with this section, like a green parrot or something, and a bedded wood duck, but maybe in the next one. So, there they are. Just gonna pair them.
Yeah. It didn't sit where I wanted. I'm gonna redo that. So I'm pairing them again. I just need to lift them up a bit. And now oh, it looks better. So at this stage, we're talking about the ostrich herd. And I want it to be or a bit more upright. I might work on that. So some water. And it works quite well with the glasses now, I must say. It's a uh, reading glasses. Uh, it's working really nice. I just need to get used to it. But at least I can tie flies again. So, before the ostrich hurl, we're gonna have all the olive. So, I'm thinking about something completely different. Oval silver tinsel. And I have a bit here. I'm using a uh, Vivus. Doesn't matter which brand, but I like the shine of it. So I'm just gonna cut the piece there. And I'm doing a mixture of uh, Kelson and Price Tanat. Uh, Green Highlander pattern because I like how uh, Price Tanat add more details to the wing, but I prefer Kelson's seal for body. So let me just prepare that one. Now that's prepared, so I'm gonna do the ostrich hurl then. And here we are. Solid one, but feels sufficient. Okay, 
and just cut the leftovers. Going back again and now we're gonna attach the silver tinsel. Then it's time for the yellow silk. Today I'm using a French brand. Looks like this. Colors of it, so it's, uh, it's good. So tight wraps backwards. Gives you time uh, as well to uh, even out the body. That's why I turn the, the hook so I can see accordingly. silk is in place so I just tie it in now we're gonna have a green hackle I'm just going to stop the video then because I need to double the hackle. I didn't do that, so I need to prepare it. So let's continue tying the hackle in. And as I mentioned, I'm going to have a seal fur body here. green silver and I'm starting quite thin in the back since I don't want to uh, cover up the yellow silk I want it to be visible
continue to add silk fur. I'm gonna brush it out afterwards as well. already okay. so let's continue Somewhere there. Maybe a little bit more. Since we're gonna have the green hackle and then the yellow front hackle. So I wanna leave room for that and the wing, but not much room. I think we are okay there. Okay. Then we start with the tinsel. Just gonna make sure I don't put any fiber inside with the silk car. If I can manage, you never know. And the second turn of The silver tinsel, that's where the green hackle should start. Six turns with the tinsel. So what we need to do now is just to follow with the body hackle, just behind the tinsel. Nothing strange. So. Oops. I wanna follow quite closely since it gives some protection you fish the pattern Step away. And there we are. So now we have a yellow front tackle. Just gonna prepare it a bit. Just remove all these fluffy parts. There we go. 
it on and have a decent amount of packing. Silver is making the body a bit more robust, thicker. It'll be nice when fishing. Make a lot of noise in the water, cool bubbles, etc. pulling the fibers backwards while I'm turning the heckle around. I think I'm gonna do even tighter, else they're gonna run, run low on space. gonna pull the front again meet both sides so let's pull it down a little bit Wing, but also tippets. 
the middle wing. So I'm just gonna take a short break in the video. So let's attach this middle wing then. And I found the feather that I like, so it's there that I like. I'm just gonna add as much as possible. So I'm gonna measure the back against the barrel wood duct. But I'm gonna leave so much air in this uh, wing. It's over there. Turning, so I didn't attach it correctly. So let me then just sort it out. Let me see, it's still turning. Even worse. So it's good. Okay. Let me have a look at the stems. Try again. Never give up. And there we are. Bit, bit long. I'm gonna redo, make it a bit shorter. There'll be now somewhere there. I want to be spot on on the buried wood deck. I'm just gonna move the fibers. I think we are. In a good position. So, so now it's time to build the wing anyhow. So you're gonna varnish there, let it dry for a bit, and we have um, a good start. It's time for the wing. Hopefully it goes my way, you never know. I don't want to redo my work, but let's give it a try.
that would be sufficient with thread. Come on. It did split, so just redo. Bad luck. Try again. Hopefully it's going better this time. Not sure. Can be the peacock wing feather. But that is my problem. it is. It's too short. Ah. So let me aim a bit better. I have one more chance of doing this one. position the top feather also the peacock I'm gonna shorten it a bit If you have a good day or a bad day, this one uh, doesn't really turn out that well. <laughs> no worries. So, Try. After this one, we need to build a new wing. 
I don't really want to do that. So, we just need to work with the feathers a bit. much better this I can manage I doesn't want to do what I want. gonna prepare the sides and then uh, we continue the fly. We just want it to sit lower. That's what I'm gonna work on. Let's start with the sides then. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to take mallard. Let me see. I'm going to have it quite long. Maybe I should put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. with barred wood duck. Let 
and then I change it. He seen. Yes, a bit lower. There we are. I'm gonna do the same on my side. the thread varnish remove everything uh, up here and then I gonna do uh, add the last uh, Indian crow part and then the topping and uh, the uh, Macau and then the fly is done the last steps topping and horns Afterwards, just to make sure they are in line. 
that's for later. There we are. So who wants then? I don't want to curve them too much. To revex the thread. Adding one horn. Now it's just wax thread, varnish, cut everything off and that's it and the fly is done. So that's it. So guys, that's the Green Highlander. I did a variation uh, doing it uh, yeah, as I wanted to do it. Uh, it's basically uh, a nice pattern. Uh, I don't like to tie that often due to the fact when I was uh, selling flies, you know. Which, which pattern uh, does people know? Uh, Green Highlander, York Scott, and then you do that forever. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, funny stuff. Um, but it, it was a long, long time since I tied the Green Highlander, so it was a uh, great fun today and uh, nice to try my glasses. Uh, it's a learning curve using the glasses and uh, adjusted the. the um, vis visual improvements so to say but yeah th that's basically it for today so I'm uh, sorry about the mumbling away um, see you in the next video bye do you watch it all drift off like feathers in the wind do you think about making